Hi friends, in this video, I am going to deploy MVC core application with SQL database connectivity. So first of all, you have to do the following things. First, I will search control panel. So you have to search control panel on your Windows 10. So after that, you click programs. In programs, you have to click programs and features. After that, we have one option, turn Windows features on or off, you have to click yes one. Now it is loading, so I will, I will search about internet service, internet information services, you have to expand this. Now check these all, check these all don't left any of this so just check these all connective connections so i have to check this all now minimize this one now after worldwide worldwide so now i will check this all as well don't left any of this I've, otherwise it will not work if you left any of this check it so first I will complete these so it will take some time to complete Allow all kind of security. If you do not allow these options, it will not show any error. So you have to allow this. After that, click it. Okay. Now it will take some time to complete the requirements. So now it is loading. So first I will stop it until it's complete. So now I will stop video. So now it is completed. So restart your PC. So restart your PC. So after restarting your PC. So. So after restarting your PC. Now come here. Search about. ISS now it is installed so now you can check it here we have our default website so before that I have deployed two applications so now I will remove this one so now I am removing this one So now I have deleted previous one. So first I will come to my Visual Studio 2019. Now here you have to do following things. First you have to use same connection as I am using. You can see. First server name. After that database name, catalog database name and user id or password so here i will change this user so i will use sa sa control save it now i will deploy it so first publish it publish now i am publishing my site so now i have done as i before told you I have deployed already but I will remove this one click it remove yes now add so now I am adding new one so select folder next it 
here you have to give and a link where you want to save so i want to save here okay so first i will show you that folder as well so desktop this folder this folder it is empty now you can see this is empty so just finish i think i selected to yes selected this one okay finish now you have to come here show all settings select this option after that you have to wait you have to check this one database connection if you have database if you do not have database it will not pick your database so now check database after that you have to check one more option if you want to fetch your databases the database creation queries integration file it will generate integration file for you so what will be easy for you just paste that code and generate your database so i will wait for this so now just i will check this will entity framework migration so i will check this option check it now save it now publish so now it will take few seconds to publish our application on a given uh, directory so it will publish there so we have to wait few seconds so now after publishing so it is published almost So now it is published success succeed option now it is published so first we will work we will do we will close our application now mvc core hosting and bundles you have to search this one after searching this one you have to click this one what is the dotnet core hosting bundles click this one this link microsoft here you have to come below you have to install this one. current dot net core hosting bundle installer direct download you have to download and install this without this it will not run it is very necessary for mvc core application now we will come here just add website and give the name give name to your website so simply i will what i will do i will copy the name of website which i have here so folder directory it is my website name as well so now i will copy this one so copy now i yes search word paste it paste it now give the direct name so here was our folder desktop desktop hospital shapi okay now in which port i will run it so i will run it 1890 okay now it is deployed after that one thing is very important so you have to come here here is our application hospital shapi hospital just click it right click and go to your basic settings here here you have to select which option no manageable code it is very necessary you have to select this one. okay 
so after that our application will be deployed so now i will check it so browse now it is deployed first you have to come here on sql server first search sql server management studio you have to install this one as well otherwise it will not work so now it will open connect so now here what we will do you have the following things you have to do first right click on it and go to properties after properties you have to give permission security security you have to select sql server and windows authentication after the both failed and success login so you have to select this one okay then press okay after pressing okay you have to do following things as well restart restart your system so i have already restarted so now you have to restart as well yes it yes now it is very important you have to do it otherwise it will not work now after that you have to come here security and in security you have to select logins logins you have to select this one i i was using previous this one shapi now i am using sa now so first you have to select right click on sa sa and properties here you have to give your own password so in visual studio in password was 123 123 both password must be same otherwise it will not work so okay yes okay now it is saved so here our my our setting is complete so after setting this we have to come here just new connection here you you have to use same server server name will same and here we will use sql server authentication here you have to give your own password what was my password one two three just connected so now it is connected now we will check our application come to here so now here we will simply what we will do we will do simple this i will log in my application now it is logged in so here you can see properly it is working so this was our video if you like video so please share, subscribe my channel and share with your friends so thank you for watching